Welcome everyone to this Click Create Artist Spotlight. Today we have J.M. Miller, also known as Cowboy Killer. What words describe your artistic style? Well, I like to think of myself as kind of a photographer's photographer in the sense that I really am inspired by a lot of uh, the greats of like our, especially contemporary time in photography. I guess contemporary in that sense. Ethereal, I think that I have like a a very like otherworldly way of like going about creating images. Surrealism, like, because I think with the whole compositing process, I've really leaned into creating things that wouldn't necessarily happen in reality, but are more of, you know, an interpretation of the world rather than how the world actually is. What inspires you to create? I think uh, before anything, it was a way of dealing with what was happening in my life. I started creating very young, kind of trying to take these larger issues I was dealing with and express them in an artistic way and got really involved with that process young. And as I got older, I struggled with uh, addiction and mental health quite a bit in my late teens, early 20s. So it was this outlet for me that creating felt like the way to defeat those demons. And that has always been a huge aspect of why I create and how I create. But lately I've been making a lot of art about the good days too, you know, the positive aspects of life. As things get better, it feels like I have a new muse in finding a healthy lifestyle and forming healthy relationships and so on. What advice can you offer to aspiring photographers? I think every artist starts out uh, emulating somebody. And I think the best and worst thing about Web3 is that everybody has the gateway right away. You can get in and list your art and there's, so you find people who are very stylistically talented early in their career, but maybe they haven't had the opportunity yet to branch off into their own style. I see people get that criticism. And I want artists to hear it. I want them to like experience that, oh, maybe I am flying a little too close to the sun, but I also don't want that to uh, impede them from taking those risks and and trying new things because they're discouraged. Uh, My favorite story whenever I get an opportunity to teach or talk to students is um, Hunter S. Thompson, who's one of my favorite uh, authors specifically in his political writings, was, you know, considered a bad kid, was in a juvenile detention center, and he rewrote The Great Gatsby several times know what it was like to write a great novel. And I I always try to emphasize the importance of replication, but understanding that it's just as good as what you use those tools that you've just learned, like how you apply them. If you're going to apply them in a way that is almost just mimicking what was there before, then you're doing yourself a disservice with those hours spent. What are your goals as a digital artist? I'd love to be someone who helps push my medium forward, especially in the the digital space, the Web3 space. I'm not somebody who has my eyes set on being the next so-and-so. I'm I'm much more interested in being a part of this like larger, more important renaissance that's taking place and, and, you know, being a fly on the wall and seeing this whole thing take off and hopefully contributing to that in meaningful ways. What are you most proud of in your career as a digital artist? I think I'm really proud of how my art has been able to bring together people who have experienced similar things to me in life. And the community that's formed around it has been really positive in helping each other in both art and life and in finding our own voices. And I'm really proud that my art was maybe a catalyst in all those people coming together. I think that that is a a great accomplishment as an artist and something that keeps me inspired throughout the day. What were your goals for this Click Create edition? You know, I'd really love to show your community what I'm all about and create something that hopefully gets me some new supporters, collectors, friends, whatever it may be. You know, just kind of be part of what you guys are doing here and create something meaningful along the way.